In 1933, the movie She Done Him Wrong came out, starring Mae West. This film is a mix of funny, surprising, and sad moments. Stick around because we've got some interesting facts coming up. Do you want to know some cool stuff about this movie? Or maybe there's a scene that you really like. Share your thoughts in the comments. So, get ready for a fun time with She Done Him Wrong. In the movie She Done Him Wrong, Mae West brings her unique charm as a singer in a New York City bar during the wedding year 90s. She doesn't realize that the bar owner, Gus Jordan, is involved in illegal activities like white slavery and making fake money. There's also a secret federal investigator known as the Hawk working to uncover the truth. As the story unfolds, West's character, Lady Lou, gets involved with Captain Cummings, who runs a mission nearby, and her ex-boyfriend Chick Clark, who escapes from jail. When Lou tries to help a troubled young woman, things go wrong, and she falls into the hands of the white slavery ring. Despite facing censorship pressure, the film became a success thanks to Mae West's captivating performance and Cary Grant's role as the undercover investigator. Clocking in at just 66 minutes, the movie keeps a fast pace with great black and white visuals. While not every scene focuses on Grant or West, West's charisma steals the spotlight. She Done Him Wrong not only got critical praise and an Oscar nomination for Best Picture, but also helped Paramount Pictures during the Depression era. She Done Him Wrong, based on the play Diamond Lil, stars Mae West and Rafaela Acciano reprising their original stage roles. However, in the film, Lil's name is changed to Lou. Mae West also starred alongside George Raft in her first and last films, Night After Night and Sextet, respectively. She was part of six Oscar Best Picture nominees, including She Done Him Wrong, The Awful Truth, The Philadelphia Story's Suspicion, The Talk of the Town, and The Bishop's Wife. Mary Jane West, later known as Mae West, hailed from the Bushwick section of Brooklyn. Her father, John Patrick Jack West, known as Battling Jack West, was of English and Irish descent while her mother, Matilda Decker Dolger, immigrated from Germany. One of the notable actors in She Done Him Wrong was also featured in several other significant films recognized by the National Film Registry. These include The Awful Truth, Bringing Up Baby, Gunga Din, Only Angels Have Wings, His Girl Friday, The Philadelphia Story, Notorious, North by Northwest, and Charade. Additionally, She Done Him Wrong finds its place among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, as curated by Steven Schneider. In Los Angeles from 1928, a green-eyed brunette ventured into films around 1930, often portraying in gay news and second leads. Tragically, she was found deceased in her Palm Desert Country Club home on January 18, 1972, by her real estate partner, Walter Price. One film stands out in her career, selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for its cultural significance she done him wrong. Paramount signed her in 1931 for a film adaptation of her stage hit, Diamond Lil. However, navigating past censors proved challenging. Over two years, efforts were made to adapt the material, leading to conflicts with censorship authorities. The struggle over Diamond Lil resulted in key changes. The film evolved into the somewhat diluted She Done Him Wrong, released just before the enforcement of the stringent production code. The battle also triggered significant shifts within the production board, with Joseph Breen taking a more hardline stance after James Wingate's departure. In summary, the movie's journey from stage to screen reflects a pivotal moment in Hollywood history, showcasing the challenges of censorship and the transition towards stricter moral codes in filmmaking. Mary Gilmer, formerly married to William Gordon, maintained his surname after their estrangement in 1917. Although their legal status remained uncertain, Gordon tragically ended his life in 1937, working as a janitor. Dewey Robinson's last film, The Jackie Robinson Story, premiered in May 1950, seven months before his passing. Several completed movies, including At Swords Point and Roadblock, were released posthumously. During the filming of Houseboat in 1958, Sophia Loren's persistent affection for him caused distress. Despite her assertions of love for Carlo Pani, Grant remained unconvinced. Mae West's debut in She Done Him Wrong marked her first starring role, where she not only acted, but also penned the story and dialogue. Prior to this, she made her screen debut alongside George Raft in Night After Night. Despite her early success, Mae took a hiatus from Hollywood, choosing to manage a vast ranch in Arizona after her role as Natalie Wood's mother in Rebel Without a Cause in 1955. Later, she relocated to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and worked at a petroleum refinery. However, the allure of California drew her back in 1963, briefly reigniting her career before permanently leaving Hollywood in 1967. Settling in Palm Desert, she found success in real estate. 
Before her Hollywood career, Mae West made waves on Broadway opposite Ed Wynn and Arthur Hammerstein sometime. In this production, she introduced the shimmy, a dance characterized by subtle foot movements and continuous shoulder, torso, and pelvic motion. West first encountered this dance in the black cafes of Chicago, later bringing it to the Broadway stage with Rudolph Frimmel's musical accompaniment in 1918. She Done Him Wrong is a noteworthy movie from 1933, recognized for its brevity with a runtime of just 66 minutes, yet it secured an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. Shortly after its release, the National Legion of Decency was established in October of the same year, partly in response to Mae West's portrayal in the film, which was considered a significant factor prompting the formation of the organization. Despite its controversial reception, She Done Him Wrong gained popularity, ranking as the fifth most popular movie at the U.S. box office for 1933. Its impact on both the film industry and societal norms of the time was substantial, contributing to discussions surrounding censorship and morality in cinema. She Done Him Wrong, a movie from 1933, got just one Oscar nomination for Best Picture. Even though it didn't get a lot of attention, there are some interesting things that happened behind the scenes. For example, Mae West, the main actress, had a tough time because she had to be sewn into most of her costumes for the movie. This shows how much hard work goes into making films. The writer Sidney Sheldon got the idea for a character named Reese Williams in the book Bloodline from Cary Grant. This shows how real people can influence the characters and stories connecting Hollywood and books from that time. In short, She Done Him Wrong might not have been a huge hit, but it got nominated for an Oscar, and there were some interesting things that happened while making it like Mae West's costume challenges and Sidney Sheldon getting inspiration from Cary Grant for a character. In 1933, the movie She Done Him Wrong was a big deal for its leading lady. She was known for being talented and creative, and she took charge not just in front of the camera, but also behind the scenes. She always wrote her own plays and scripts, showing off her creative skills. This continued with her first movie, where she not only acted, but also wrote the screenplay. She was one of the first women who consistently wrote stories for the screen. Her work in movies was noticed. Four of her films, including She Done Him Wrong, were recognized by the Library of Congress for their importance in culture and history. These movies show how much she impacted the industry, showing her talent as an actress and writer. In She Done Him Wrong, she played a captivating role, blending her acting skills with her storytelling talent. The movie, brought to life by her words, fascinated audiences, and left a lasting impression on cinema. She Done Him Wrong still stands out as an example of her talent and creativity, showing how she could create stories that stick with people even after many years.